this one. So unfortunately, the XSS didn't get recorded. Uh, if you didn't watch this live, I actually had 100% on my CPU usage. Um, so I'm going to record this uh, and keep going. First one we did was we figured out how the queries work for the third challenge right here. And we found a file name for this attachment ID2 for our victim. Now I want to know, oh, and I closed the other one for really. Alright. Very true security. I'm gonna download the VOD from uh, that's a really good call. I'm gonna see if I can download it. I'm just sew them together. Thank you for that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do uh, I'll figure something out. I'm not too worried about it. Shit happens. Um, so my mutations, um, we want to modify attachment, and we want to give it ID2, and we also want to tell it the file name that we have, which is this bad boy right here, and we're going to take this and we're going to pass it to right here, and we're going to say OK. Before we do that, we need to close some things and open some things. There we go. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so this could was an OK. Uh, modify attachments. These are the only things that it takes. Um, thank you for the follow. What makes you think it's supposed to be PHP code? I'm really interested. Like, do you. Do you think we could post something to this, like modify it? Let's see what attach file would give us. This also takes a bug ID, which we're on ID2, if I remember correctly. Oh, please don't hit me at 100% again. No, okay. CPU is coming down. Memory is coming down. We're good. Okay. Um, so, we're on this one. Reporter ID is 2. Uh, I'm not going to open up for it. Screw that. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Day 64. So it's bugs two. I just want to say ID, right? Bugs two. And uh, let's give it an OK. Let's go to the specs. And uh, bug ID is wrong. There we go. What's up, bug is closed? Yeah, but I don't think I can upload files to this, right? Like, it's not letting me do that. Oh, you think we should post, like, the contents here? So if I, whatever I put here for bug ID 2, let's see if it does that. That worked. But I can't see the contents in any of this, can I? Ah, okay, so we are pretty much putting files in there. Very clever, okay. So this is what's happening. Every time we put a... Yeah, I take burp out just because of my memory usage. Um... So anytime I throw a new file to it, it writes for us. Okay. That I understand now. What about 
let's see. Hold on, I want to see attachments again. Um, I don't need. F no, I need to look at attachments. Bugs. Um, where are attachments? They're under user, maybe. Let's see. Um, one sec, I want to see if uh, I got this right. Let me change this really quick. Alright, um, search it. Oh yeah, that's why I can search. Um, let's see what attachment comes up. Uh, attachments. Bugs and attachments. No, that's not what I want. So attachments has file name. Huh. Let's see if I. Uh, can I go back to Hacker 101 really quick? No, I'm in morning right now. It's 9.52 for me. What? Give me a hint. File names are always interesting. Fuck off, Cody. I know file names are always interesting, but... Can I just call this flag? That's not gonna work. But I'm gonna call it flag. Huh, interesting. Oh, you think, uh, attachments four. I don't think I, like, I don't think we're supposed to actually load it, are we? Uh, I don't think that's the case. No, that's not the case. Oh, it is that. Okay, so it's attachment, not attachments. Uh, no. That's one sec. Cody Dakin brushes. <laughs> I have not done this question. I want to learn. Come on. <laughs> Me too. Let me play some music real quick. Oh, you know why? This is probably how it works. There we go. Good call, C1. Very good call. So anything I write, it goes to here. Okay. Wow, okay. Thank you for that. I'm trying to think C1 has already solved this and just memeing me at this point because you knew exactly what to do at this point. <laughs> you want to do PHP, right? So it can't be PHP, unless I did my syntax wrong. PHP echo test, so it's not PHP. Traversal and file name to read. Um, I don't think so because it's going based on attachment ID. I don't know why I opened this closer. But what I can try is, let's see if we have to do like, I don't know, maybe XSS, I don't know. 
I'm gonna try it out. found them important then interesting yeah okay let's see what that did um i want to try something really quick let's get let's let's see how this comes back so the content type is always text html <laughs> Um, wait, we're almost there. We almost have an answer to this. Hmm, interesting. Really, really interesting. It's almost there, but does anyone have any more hints? Like to write to yeah, I put flag here, but I don't know if the uh, file name. Oh, wait, 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 what? Unless the directory you attachments. What did I do? I give it ID one. Is it directory U attachments? So upload the file in the first request and then pass the resulting storage as a part of the mutation in the second request. Uh, Elliot, what do you mean by that? Upload the file in the first request and then pass the resulting storage URL as a part of your mutation. I'm getting an error when so are they working is what I want to know do I how many do I have here okay so six 20 is in there. I want to know what my last ID is, so I don't have to keep looking. Okay, 16 is the last one. We know at least now. Uh, but now I'm getting an error is directory Y. Do I have to give it a valid file name? I don't think that was the case. Wow. So close, but yet so far away. for like GraphQL injections. He's saying maybe pass the raw attachment URL in the mutation to modify and see if it's something changes. 
So you're saying instead of the file name, give it this? What's really interesting to me is, let me go back really quick. Oh, nope, should have done that. So like, now I'm getting an error here, watch. That's his directory. Oh, because I did a, e. oh, did I mess something up? Uh. It's giving me an error, oddly enough, but but it's still posting them. Hey, Tiger. Okay, we're gonna make it ID three because we were screwed ID two. Can I do this maybe? I hate you, Cody. My lord, how does this work? This is so annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more hints. All right, let's see. Hacker 101, G, GraphQL. Bug DB three hints. No one has solved bug DB three, really. Let's see if there's any hints. Well, um, option, let's plan B it, guys. Let's go to, all right, let's see. Bug DBV3. Struggling with this. With this on my stream. Figured out how to read my That's the last hint, how to approach. Do I what, do, do I document that right? Uh, document that right flag? No, I can't be it. Hey, you're around. Let's see if he knows anything. I only have another uh, 25 minutes and I really want to finish this up. There is this pin message, okay. I found that through other means, just with the entire thread. I pretty much ran into everything everyone else did.
I don't think this is really gonna apply to what we're doing. This is a really simple CTF. Uh, he's gonna tell us to read the All right, that's what he says. Um, All right, um, so what we'll do is we are going to, I think getting that error, error earlier was maybe the right thing to do. You can rename the attachments in a way that it's He likes building Python f flasks up. Ah, oh, you son of a. Okay, let's see if we can find this. Nope. I have not settings up high. Mm, let's see settings up high. So So if I go back one more maybe Let's see if that works. We did settings, but maybe it's main. Thank you for the follow. But it's not giving me a, anything. What do you mean you should be able to read it? Let's not give it any content. Oh no, don't show me that. Oops. Where is DC? Yeah, but it's not showing me what. Sorry, I'm not ignoring chat. I just really want to figure this out. 33, 34. 
Wait, 33, 34, 35. 35 is nothing, okay. Uh, okay, let's reset it then. We're we got this. Mm, let's see. Yeah, it's uh, the ID two throws an error, so we're gonna reset it. I believe. I believe too. I don't know, maybe. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna make this ID too. Ooh, what is happening here? Did I break something? I did break something. Okay. Okay, progress. We're making it. We're almost there. Is there a There we go. Look at the sword and see nicer, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Come on. Oh, come on. Attachments and attachment. That works, this works. I don't think there's a CI. You know what, let's just do this, just to see. Until we know. So this does work at least. I mean, I don't need any content for it, let's see. What the frick is happening here? He says on what? Thank you for the follow. I don't see any other file names mentioned here. Oh, 
Hold on. I don't know why I can't get it to work on any other new ones. But we might have to reset this instance in a sec again because we might have broken it. Look at the imports. Not all from package. Some of them are local source code files. You use ID2 in your query. Ah, oh, I'm using ID2 right here for the attachments, that's right. It says, GraphQL, this is hurting my head. Look at the imports, they are not all from Python packages. Where is it? There we go. Alright, x up pi is a, a file next to main if x is not a Python package. From x import import y. Or from schema. Ooh, schema? Let's see if there's a schema up high. Maybe? Model up high, I don't know. It says, let's see. Okay, we got schema, there we go. Uh, worked. Oh, there's a model up high, you guys are right. Let's try model up high. Only one of them is interesting. Uh, level 118. So what, just query for SQLite level... Level 18 DB. Uh, model.py, this is model.py, right? Yeah, what was the other one we are looking at earlier? Schema. Let's get schema one more time. At a glance at schema, it doesn't look or oh, doesn't look like this is any important. So we're gonna go back to you no. Know. Can I do this? I don't think so. Oh my god, that did work. Okay, we're almost there. is here let's just copy these and see what oh, I don't have burp open should I dare open burp uh, let's do this let's see if curling it would make it look nicer at least Wow, okay. I see flag on your screen. <laughs> Fuck off, DC. <laughs> He's watching me and mocking me. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, that's funny. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna copy everything from this in here. Oh, you son of a. That was a struggle, oh my god. I had the flag in front of me, I didn't even look for the fourth flag. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> uh, it's a good thing we're doing these, <laughs> we're doing all these live. All right, so let's recap. Ah, uh, that was... Hold on. Time up. Let me, let me get a victory sip and then we'll talk. Uh, let's see. I gotta do something really quickly. so much in my life. Yeah, not JK. I still hate him. Whew. That was a mission. You know, if I didn't have a timeline of being off in 10 minutes, I would have not stressed so much about it. But AC1, that was really, really awesome. Thank you for all the help. Uh, you pointed me in the right direction. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this was a blast. Let's do a quick review of what we did for the GraphQL challenge. I pretty much uh, went down a rabbit hole of figuring out how the schema works. You know, we can click right here and figure it out. Um, our biggest thing was attachments was brand new. So I immediately looked at what attachments has. If you look at attachments under users, go query, user, edge, node, I think bugs, edge, well, I'm going in circles now, hold on. Uh, bugs, edge, node, attachments, right? We pulled all this out, and when we did uh, edges and then node, we gave it our ID, file name, bug. And that immediately gave us all of this without all these files that we created. So these are all the files that I created during my testing. So quickly, you go to the mutation part. We called attachment uh, bug ID2. We didn't give any content because we wanted to pull the file from the server. So we left it zero. We gave it ID2 for our attachment. So anytime I would go to attachment two, it would put the contents of that file into my uh, attachment. So in other words, whoa, 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 there we go. If I do main pi, uh, going back one directory, it gave me the contents of uh, main.py. And in main.py, we saw that it says attachments from schema and port schema. And our next hint was to look at model.py and some other ones. So if we do model.py and we send a request, brings us the model for it, which included the level 18 database uh, within it. So what we can do is we do the same thing and we fetch for level 18 into our attachment two, 
which gave us the flag. So searching for flag was really helpful. Again, thank you all for joining. Um, sorry things got a little bit um, slow earlier, but I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate everybody joining. Thank you for cheering. Thank you for everybody that's uh, just recently started following me or if you just subscribed. I will be back on Saturday, hopefully, uh, to play some video games with a few friends. Uh, I'm headed to Absic DC Global tomorrow. If you are going to be in DC, come please come say hello. I'll be there. Um, as always, pleasure. This was really, really fun. Big thank you to C1 for helping me out and also DC for uh, helping me. So thanks so much. I will be back on Saturday. Uh, if you want to keep in touch, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But until then, I will talk to you guys all later. Peace.